Alright, uh, hey, test test. Alright, looks good. I'm throwing on stream announcements. Okay. Um, we have a game here, and uh, we're first seat, so that's exciting. And uh, we finally open a pack that at least has one very good card. Uh, we're playing against somebody 76 games, nearly 500, so that's quite strong. 131 games, 457, reasonably good. And 298, 524. Okay, we've pulled a very good table. <laughs> like, we're basically facing off against three experts. So that part, uh, harder. But um, I think we basically have to first pick Cow Prince. I think it's kind of wild to do anything else. I think Lettuce Patch is very strong, generically good. The only small trickiness with Lettuce Patch is that Cow Prince is a late game lock and uh, slightly less clear that I'm going to have three when I'll get to play Lettuce Patch, but I think it's still the right pick here. Um, everything else is pretty speculative and some stuff is fine, but there's nothing as strong as Lettuce Patch. So, um, all right, we see a lantern house, but that's just a trap. We do see a cow herd. Cow herd's gonna be quite good for cow prince, but I'm not sure I need to take it here. I mean, a game trade even helps cow prince a little. I'm a pretty big fan of retail dealer. Um, the most fence stables gets two bonus points, so the last pack had a couple of stable helps, so remembering that is useful. I don't think this is a house book master game. Fencing and sewing isn't needed. Night school student might be the play here. Although there's so many ways night school student doesn't work. But night school could like play cowherd and cow prince for me, kind of in the late game, which would be sweet. Um I don't think this is a lantern house game. Um I mean it could be, but like we have no idea yet. Admittedly, Lantern House with Night School is also a little more playable. Um, first seat lantern house also a little bit easier, uh, but I think I'm gonna let other people mess around with it. I think I'm just taking retail dealer here. I like retailer a decent amount. I don't have a grain source yet. This is easy grain. I'm gonna want to take a couple RSF actions anyhow. So I think it's retail dealer, and I think I just take strawberry patch. The downside of taking strawberry patch is I don't actually have any veggie support yet, and I might run out of easy to play miners early. Uh, but I'm still going to take it. But one issue now is our hand doesn't have very playable miners, so that's definitely something we want to be on the lookout for. Um, these are quite strong miners, but they're not that easy to play. Um, so that means like fighting for first room and stuff can also be a mistake with this hand because we don't have a way to squat start player to get growth first. But we'll see. I'm a little less concerned about fighting for start player here because based on the ratings at this table, like, or the first room, like, based on the ratings at the table, all my opponents are going to be playing quite well, probably, presumably. Like, they're pretty dang strong. So it's a, I think it's a little easier to kind of predict what they're going to do. And I actually, based on what I've been saying in my recent arena stuff, like, fighting for first growth is great when the table is going to, like, leave so many gifts and do weird things. But... I think it's a little less good when it's less likely crazy stuff's going to happen. Wood carrier, basket carrier. Wow. Okay, team. Um, well, then. Um, wood carrier is very good. Just gives me a wood for every improvement I have in front of me. Uh, okay. Also, Basket Carrier is very good. Basket Carrier also generates some wood and some reed and some grain, which is great. The problem is I kind of already have Retail Dealer, which generates that stuff. Like, I can kind of generate reed and grain. I mean, it takes actions and takes a card, whereas Basket doesn't. But Basket also requires a lot of food. And I don't necessarily have a lot of food. Now, maybe an early BMW solves things. But I also could just go for take Wood Carrier with Reed Hat and Toad here, and I that's kind of what I'm leading towards. Because with Reed Hat and Toad in first seat, as annoying as it is, I can just go Freeock into Reed Hat and Toad into RSF like retail dealer stuff, 
which is my instincts. Um, automatic water trough to get a cow is kind of nice. I love that we're seeing lots of little stuff that injects cows, because it means this cow prince can also be very good. Um, I think I'm taking the wood carrier. I think wood carrier is just so strong. Um, enables us to get a lot of wood off of playing improvements in front of us. There was a bonus to having stables. We want wood for fences anyhow. Um, I'm going to run this. Wow. Tree gardener now too. Stockman to go. Wow. Okay. Lots of considerations here. Um, exchanging wood for stone is very not important here. Sculpture course feeding. Wow. Also sculpture course feeding with retail dealer. Pretty decent. We saw this the other day, like how useful. I, I made that sculpture course game go pretty well. Now it, it eats a lot of stone though. And it's not clear this game has a ton of stone. So I actually don't know if I want to do that. Ooh, okay, this one's tricky. I think the stockman here is pretty good because there's a lot of stable. Like, there's multiple reasons to want the stables. Tree Gardener also just adds a lot of wood to the game and is quite good. But I think my wood carrier already kind of does that. So I think adding animals and having a payoff is worth it. I could exchange the three wood for stone. Yes, I could. Petrified stone, yeah. I have some annoying round one SP into round two SP. Oh, I, I'm aware. I, I've I have been saying that Lumen, yes. I well I did it explicitly. I, I explicitly stated retail dealer into Reed Hat and Toad, which I think is what's happening. But then the fact that I could just sculpture course right away. Um yeah. Feels like two stone extra makes it worth it, right? That doesn't seem so crazy. What's two stone extra? I mean, Petrified Wood is okay. Don't get me wrong. I just don't think it's the pick here. I think I'm taking Stockman over Tree Gardener. But Tree Gardener could be better. Like, this is a lot of extra wood. The card that gives me food for stone and not harvest. Even just, two, even just throwing it two stone, you feel like, makes it worth it? That's true. Honestly, I, I probably do just take Sculpture Course here. I think it's very good. I think I still take the Stockman, though. I, I'm very into the Stockman theory. And maybe I'm too into the Stockman theory. But see, Carpenter's Axe is part of why we want Stockman, too. Although, are, how often are we using Carpenter's Axe, actually? I don't know. But I think it's still the clear pick here. I mean, Roof Ladder gives me a little extra stone when I run over there. Yeah, that's so unlikely. So this is good. Uh, I don't think we're pattern making this game. Oh, we can clay fire stone in order to eat it. It's actually kind of funny. I'm not sure there's that much extra clay in the game, though. Uh, speaking of not that much extra clay, I think trying to fit earthenware potter into this game plan is a mistake. I'm going to go with Mistake. So then, do we take Pattern Maker? Because there's potentially so much wood in the game, and this is incredible bonus point opportunity. Or are we spending enough wood on rooms, fences, and stables that we might just want Clay Fire for reasons? I might just cut Pattern Maker from the game. Just take the Pattern Maker here to make sure nobody else has it, because it could actually be very strong in this game, and it's a source of a lot of points. I think I actually that's what I'm going to lean. I think I'm going to lean towards that. Um, Night School Student did come back, and Lantern House came back. Oh, boy. Um, there's quite a few passing cards in this draft that makes the Lantern House kind of scary. So I think we can't Lantern House. The other reason that Lantern House is awkward here is it means that I'm probably... I, I, I actually am really tempted to just do, really set my game up with this spam, as obnoxious as that spam is going to be to others. To SP spam, like I feel bad for... But... I think I'm taking Night School... 
at most one occupation. Oh, social benefits is not the play here, but game trade is a slight combo, correct? Um, and I didn't get Cowherd back. Oh, wow. Wait a sec. I didn't get any of the cow support back. And somebody else has Cowherd. I mean, I have Stockman at least. So I already have... Stockman helps with the cows a little too. But you can't wait to see red SP first action. I'm okay with that. If that happens, it's fine. Like, whatever. Good Ox here. Yeah, this draft's been pretty, pretty crazy. The one downside of Game Trade, of course, is that it doesn't help boost Wood Carrier. But whatever. If Wood Carrier is even like a 5-wood action, you know, sweet. Like, it doesn't... We're not going to need Wood Carrier to be all that crazy. Also, Night School is pretty good here because a lot like the Stockman, the Wood Carrier, and the Cow Prince don't care about timing as much. Wow, we do get Paper Maker back too. Uh, I don't think I want to be eating my wood, but I can't really imagine wanting Reed Roof Renovator. I mean, I guess BMW is a thing I want this game. So then Reed Roof gives me even more of that. Because Reed had a toad with Reed. Like, this is adding a lot of Reed to the game also. But Paper Maker actually does things sometimes, right? Night School is still so risky. It can trigger one or five times. Even if it triggers once, it's fine, right? I mean, that's like that's the thing. I don't I don't really need it to do anything, so... I think that's what I'm saying. I have a very flexible hand in terms of timing on a lot of these cards. I don't really think I care. But we'll see. Uh, I think I paper make anyhow. I mean, this is a ton of wood. Like, I could just eat all that wood in case I need the food. Um, I don't think I have any reason to clay a bank, but Gray Gritter is unlikely to do much because I don't really have vegetables to be sowing. But it at least sits in front of me and gives me a wood back. Okay. Um, I think this is just Freeock Retail Dealer into Reed Head and Toad. I don't think I have a good enough reason not to run that line. So ooh, let's run that line. <laughs> We do get round one sheep, so lots of extra food. Uh, problem you find is you usually don't play Ock if it's open, and then if somebody plays Ock, you don't want to play two food for Ock. A lot of times you get stuck not playing any cards. Oh, well, that's that. the answer is very easy. You just play your Ox when you actually need to, and then you take whatever bonus comes elsewhere. I Like, whatever. I, I am not afraid of the Night School. I realize its problems. I realize that it's very f variable, and yet I am still content with it, so... Uh, we get a seasonal worker from red. Uh, I don't remember passing any other day labor cards besides seasonal worker. So I'll be curious if they have a first pick day labor card or if they're just running naked seasonal worker. Um, but yeah. All right. I do the annoying squat start player thing. Just get the reed hat and toad down, lock in the RSF action. The one downside with this plan is if I get two reed next round, I'm actually going to be kind of sad because I really don't want it. Uh, I really don't want to wheel two reed next round. Um, but wow, we get plow from red. Not even day labor. Interesting. They undo. And they did do decide they're plowing still. They just didn't like the spot. Okay. Also, this hand has no plow help, and I saw no plow help in the draft, so plowing does seem to have value, I'll grant. Taking the clay and then just taking wood, yep, all this is pretty according to the book. Grand utilization flips is fine. Uh, I think I gotta take this RSF action. Um, the real question is if we're actually just full running sculpture course right away. Um... And the answer might be that we're just running Sculpture Course right away and having great food tempo. Just don't even... Wow, Plow first action. Whoa, Red's doing some weird stuff, though. What is this from Red? Do they they have a first pick Straw Thatched Roof? They have a... I don't know what. Animal Teacher. There's a good card. 
Uh, okay. Just cesspit. Oh, it's it. Okay, they want to SP cesspit. You're right. It's cesspit stuff. Duh. Okay. Um, I mean, I could SP sculpture course here and have great food. Alternatively, I could just take three wood and then SP sculpture course later, which might be better because it red is always going to want to play their cesspit anyhow. And then I have my sculpture course ready. I don't really need that much food off sculpture course this game, I don't think. And I'm being offered three wood here. So I think I just take the good action. And Okay. Um, isn't cesspit two fields and one ock? Or does it require another ock? I don't, I don't understand. Mineral feeder from teal. Okay, nobody even wants the two read wild, but kind of understandable, but oh, because Collier, I missed that we pl okay, we played a Collier and we used it. So lots of read injection in this game. You're not a big fan of sculpture course. You think better use the stone for majors, just get a BMW naturally. I think that's defensible, certainly. Um, okay, we're being offered four wood, or we could just take our RSF gray in action. Four wood's very good. Uh, four clay getting taken by the Kalia is a little annoying. Uh, I think I eventually kind of want a hearth. I don't fully agree with you that sculpture course is not good here because I don't actually think I have that much food, uh, without it. Um, gosh, four wood's such a strong action. I think I do just take four wood. God, taking RSF, like, this is still very necessary in the long run. And red needs read how important is it to greed one extra wood right now I, I like almost certainly don't get RSF back and so then I'm gonna force I'm gonna force myself into weird food if I don't do this I think it's reasonably likely I get three wood back because there's there's a fight for a fireplace going on here now I'd assume I assume Teal's actually going to fireplace overtaking three wood, but who knows for sure. Yeah, I, I think I think just taking the RSF there is good. I get three wood back, presumably, and then we just have room parts. We have our stuff set up. I do kind of like the idea of trying to get a BMW going though pretty soon rather than using the rather than using the stone on sculpture course I think an early BMW might just be better for me but I think sculpture course is good but with people doing weird stuff like cesspit and Kalia you think the board is juiced I'm not convinced this is cesspit says Zach I think your read is very I think cesspit read is wrong um with that said there is a ton of food in the game like there is this Animal teacher plus animal stack. Well, I get four wood back anyhow. Holy crap. I mean, people are doing weird shit here. What are all these fields? Like, this almost has to be day labor. Like, is this actually day labor into day labor into so? Like, I don't know. Nutrition expert? I don't I don't know. I mean, we're going to leave six wood on the table is what's happening. But whatever. I am just... This is fine. Ock plow plow only makes sense if it's cesspit. Zizak, they're not that weak, and you're just wrong. Like, I don't I don't know how to tell you this. Like, they didn't start player cesspit when they had the chance to, right? So they're they're almost certainly just sowing a million fields. Like, that's what this is now, but uh I get offered four more wood. And then I can build a room because the table is nice to me. Um I might not even have to build. Well, this guy's probably gonna call it. Wait, no, this guy needs food. I might not have to build this round. I like act. I don't have to build this round at all. Actually, this is crazy, right? I'm just gonna get first room in round five. Just an urgent priority sleeping corner. I mean, red. Yeah, red just wants three grain fields. But like, I don't know if they have a first pick sleeping corner or what. But okay, forest trader. Each time you use wood or clay they can buy stuff okay that's a cool thing oh done okay read stone food from purple so they can build a room so uh okay i, I don't i i do have to build a room this round but i mean building a room this round is fine 
This giant sheep stack is crazy. I probably get a five food action extra on at least though, so that'll be nice. Uh, building stables. Do I want to threaten the sheep? I think the answer is no. Oh, and I definitely don't want to. I don't want to build stables. My second stable is how I get a cow, and the cow is important. SP better? How is SP better? SP is not better, right? Well, how is SP better? I don't. I can't fathom how SP into build is better. The if grow flips, this is better. Like. Yeah, no, this is fine. Animal Activist does get played, so fed stables are going to be valuable this game, so that's excellent. I approve. I'm a big fan. Big fan. This almost, like, this is crazy. Red spent all of stage one just getting three grain fields with Seasonal Worker. Like, they almost have to have a first pick, like, I, I don't know, first pick Sleeping Corner or first pick... It almost has to be a first pick straw thatch drift, but, like, I don't, I don't know. It's very interesting. Growth flips... So this is part of why you don't SP, because a third of the time you just grow. Uh, welcome to things finally going right for us, huh? Hopefully purple doesn't build first action. Purple does not need to build first action. If anything, purple should probably be taking two read here so they can just double build. Um, although I guess I kind of want this four wood action again because I'm greedy, but really just taking five food might be the best for me. Um, just taking food into growing with Carpenter's Axe. Um, but whatever, this is good. Uh, people have to SP to build rooms in round five grow. You think Gray pointed this out for me a while ago, and we have miners to play. Okay, yeah, so you turn, you, you change how the queue is, fair enough. You, you change how the queue is, and so if changing the queue is important to you, although Purple just decided to SP Potter Ceramics... Rather than build, um, okay. Uh, I guess I do take four wood. I just take four wood, because four wood continues to be a great action. Yeah, the board is going to be just absolutely bananas. I could still grow sculpture course here for feeding purposes also, actually. Four clay goes. That's slightly annoying. The clay pressure is high. So feeding via clay is actually going to be hard this game at the moment. For some reason, red... I don't know what red is doing. I thought for sure red was taking three wood, because you'd think red needs wood, but... Teal definitely yeah, wants the wood. We'll see if pur purple has to build now, and then they're going to have to grow. So this SP is weird, but I'm okay with it. Bread Paddle Potter Shamix is nice. That's at least fun. I mean, they want to build a clay oven eventually, but they kind of have to build, grow, then clay oven. Um, so yeah, I have to grow, but that's fine, obviously. Um, the real question is what to grow with here I'm tempted to just sculpture course now I think I should sculpture course now I'm in pretty decent position to jump into this room queue because red's at, not at all ready I have tons of wood I'm getting a read here anyhow I can take some read next round uh, it sucks to be eating our stone but I think it's correct here to just build up excellent food tempo and try to do nonsense with this game because mostly because Red's making this game crazy. Like, I don't understand what Red's up to. They're building a hearth now after getting all this grain set up. No, they have a straw thatch drift. Okay. They, so they first picked a straw thatch drift and then they got to sleep. This is weird. But Teal takes their sheep before any problems happen. That makes total sense. The board is very juicy. Um,. I am going to eat a stone here. Just have great food. Uh, Alright. Purple is going to take a clay oven. Yep, okay. And then they're going to grow. Teal's going to build, but... 
That's fine. The real question is, how badly do I want this four clay for a hearth? And I feel like long term, I do kind of want a hearth probably with this game and plan and just position. Or I just want four clay to reno. But is that actually more important to just taking the reed stack here? If I take the reed stack here... Well, there's ton there's so much read. I really should try to sneak a BMW still. Okay, what are the actual priorities? There's six food on the bottom, but nobody wants it. Okay, nobody actually cares about the bottom feeding, which is hilarious. So I should take the value off the board. And what is the most important thing for me? I should be threatening rooms. I should be getting back in the room queue with wood carrier, with early growth with red not being ready to build anytime soon i i think i take this and get back in the room queue hard then on the wheel i still have a ton of amazing actions here rsf grain food food there's still four clay okay red wants to build clay rooms so clay pressure is high and red is hard lining a red's just gonna fall super behind the growth queue because red's letting me build in front of them so that's great. Um, I get to just grow in front of red. Sure, thanks. Um, trowel, that's cool. Uh, this might just be RSF Grand Grand. Plus, it means that I have BMW parts in hand. Using the sculpture course just once is a little sad, but it might be right to just RSF here. It might be right just to take three wood and keep wood bully in this table. Who's taking R? I mean, red is not taking RSF. Teal, teal could take RSF, but then I just take six food. Yeah, let's just take every three wood action we see for the rest of the game. Ock, um. What, why am I playing Ox? I don't really feel like Ocking is actually important at the moment compared to just continuing to abuse the value on the board. I'm going to get tons of actions. I can Ock eventually, but what, what of my Ox needs to get played? I guess Stockman, maybe, is the argument, but Clay Plaster. Okay, yeah, Red's hardlining this way too hard, but Pattern Maker? I'm still unconvinced I actually want to play Pattern Maker this game. I mean, I have quite a bit of wood, but I still have lots of goals with the wood. Uh, Teal's just taking food. I might join Teal in just taking food. Teal decides better, actually, which is fair. Yeah, Teal doesn't need food. Teal has so much food. Teal has a stable cleaner. Okay, that's cool. Um, so they could just build stables easy. Uh, okay, with the food still piling up, uh, do I ever double build next round? Do, like, if I get four wood, do I just double build next round? Like, for real, double building might actually be correct this game. Like, with Wood Carrier, how much wood I've gathered early, how much food there is, and its early growth, I might be able to just get by with that. When do I start taking six food bottom feeding actions instead of worrying about RSF? And how much do I worry about the BMW when nobody else has read? I think the answer is actually I start taking bottom feeding now. I can get my RSF actions later. There's really not a fight for RSF. I think I am just going to sculpture course this stone again. I think I'm going to just make sure I have tons of food. Because I think I am going to double build. I, I don't see a great reason for me not to double build. I'm going to get another three wood action here, if not four wood, but I, I mean, it's not four wood, but I get three more wood.
why is BMW important? We, we could just double build. I mean, fair enough. I think BMW is important long term just because there's so much read in the game and it's great points. And I think feeding, but I, I think you're right. I, I'm, I'm worried about BMW when BMW is not important. What's important is that we grew first and we're growing fourth. Wow, red is hogging all the clay. But um, so the clay pressure later in the game is going to be very annoying. But on the other hand, red is really delaying their rooms for fucking ever. And I can double build next round into double grow is what it looks like is what I'm going to be offered now. Teal takes seven food that I don't know if they need, but now we can just SP double build. I don't even think we have to SP, right? Oh, Brushwood Collector. Well, damn. Okay. Well, Purple just told us that we have to, we have to build. But, oh well. Whatever. Could have taken Clay Pit by Reed. I mean, they hadn't yet, though. Again, I can keep reacting to what people are up to. Also, what do you mean by read? The by read is with somebody else. You have you have you have the cards mixed up where they're at, but anyhow, this is pretty absurd amount of wood that I've already gained this game. Like all these four wood actions I've gained. And the fact that red has not taken any wood this game is actually what's distorting this game so damn much. But I'm fine with it. Yeah, they don't have the forest trader. Without this brushwood collector, I, I, I mean, they could have gone Collier into RSF, but like, yeah, I, I, that, that brushwood collector is a little surprising. The Collier is actually kind of baffling with this brushwood collector. Like, what, what, what are you, what are you doing? But red isn't even renovating here. They're just accepting they're gonna die on the growth queue. This is absolutely ludicrous, but. No discounts, three wood rooms, still have six left, seems legit. Yeah, and we still have a wood carrier in hand to add wood to the game. All right, we don't get three wood back, which was kind of dreamy, but I think it's probably just RSF. It could be plow time, or it could be two stone time. Um, There's a lot of reasons to argue that two stone is pretty correct here. Stone is incredibly tight this game, actually. I've been eating it. There's tons of majors. It's early growth. It actually might be two stone. Um, I don't have a lot of miners to be fighting for growth, but that's okay. I, I, I'm just growing to four automatically, and I might get my fifth grow pretty soon without having to do too much for it. Pattern's still so good here. Lots of food and points, and we have wood to run it. I just disagree with you on the pattern make. I still need stables. I still need fences. And at the very least, pattern maker does not need to be played early. I just don't see the reason that I need, like, I don't have to get a five-point pattern maker to win this game, I don't think. It is possible that dropping night school student into the game, finally, could be correct, but with so many actions, it's probably a bad night school game. I think I probably take three stone here, or two stone, because some otherwise somebody's getting three stone. I don't actually think I want to leave three stone in the game, and nobody cares about RSF besides me, really. I mean, maybe with the brushwood and the straw thatch, RSF is actually super open for the rest of the game. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Anyhow, I think wood is going to be ridiculously tight from here on out. I mean, purple has a lot of wood, but purple might also make the mistake of double building. And then red has no wood. Teal has no wood. Like, the wood pressure is about to get pretty high i think i think people are going to take two wood actions i'm going to at least take two wood actions meaning i'm not convinced i have enough wood to run stables and fences and pattern make maybe with wood carrier maybe i do maybe i can hog the wood for the game and win and consume it in pattern making but i personally do not worry about the pattern maker yet Purple doesn't have to build here. Hopefully they realize that. Well, I guess purple does have to build here, because otherwise I start player into grow, grow. Yeah, never mind. Actually, purple does need to build. But purple doesn't build. Uh, so, uh, team, I think we have to just start player, grow, grow. Right? Like, for reals. We can just suck up the next two growths of the game. 
we could be at five family members at the end of stage three and have the food to support it for a while. Yeah, it's too easy. Too easy. I mean, we're going to grow Nada, but oh no, we grow Nada for our fifth family member. However, shall we survive? This is crazy from Red that they delayed these rooms so long. Um, absolutely ludicrous. Red has a hearth. Cool, buddy. You can't even feed with a hearth that well, but good luck. Yeah, Red, Red, Red's food sucks, actually, after doing all this straw thatch stuff. And they still, yeah, it's, it's going to be such an awful game for them. Wow, Purple's going to fence rather than build rooms? What's this brushwood collector? I mean, I guess because now they know I'm double growing. Yeah, I guess they decided to just go for the fences. But Red is just going to take, wow, okay, Red's just going to take the sheep now. What a wild game, everybody. Play a brushwood, but then notice that the player is just going to grow a bunch. So now you're just in the first defense, which is great. Um, okay. I mean, I'm just going to RSF into grow. And I'll use sculpture course. Ock into lettuce. Lettuce is three ox. Um, I could start ock in order to get lettuce. I don't, I don't know what I grow next round, but I'm not going to be like, I don't have to grow particularly fast is the interesting part. But I think I'm okay just growing Nada, right? It's it's okay to grow Nada. I'm gonna I'm just gonna take another RSF here. We're behind on our ox, obviously, but we're gonna have so many actions. Oh, red is going to force us to grow first action. Bro, you need these three sheep. Purple is going to take the sheep on you, and you're going to... I mean, I guess you're just going to eat your veg and your grain. I don't... Whatever. Whatever. Good luck, red. Nobody can build a room. Build the rooms next round. <laughs> what is this? Uh, I'm going to SP a couple times this game. Growing down is fine. Yeah, I, yeah. again, yeah. It's... it's I, I, I'll have, yeah, I have so many actions. Like, we'll find time to play the couple of critical cards coming up. Um, it's not going to be a problem. Red forcing us to grow first action is annoying. Um, I really kind of want the four wood, but wow, Teal's going to even take the sheep. Okay. I mean, fair enough. Purple not getting animals here means these early fences is actually not that valuable. Um, so that's sad for them. Do I have to grow first action extra? Let's think about this. Animal Reeve. Oh, whoa, team. There's a, this is an Animal Reeve game? That's very bold of purple to play that there. Um, okay. Well, I'm super happy about Stockman now. Um... But Animal Reeve for the Animal Teacher? What are, what are you doing, Purple? What are you doing? That's crazy. Uh, we're playing Gritter because we have a wood carrier. So even though we probably don't really use Gritter for much. Uh, I'm very tempted to open extra on four wood. Uh, the wood might be more... Oh, there might not be four wood. Even better. Uh, what does Animal Reeve and Animal Teacher do? Animal Reeve is bonus points at the end of the game as long as you have a bunch of animals. You need four animals of each type and you get five bonus points. It's very strong. Animal Teacher, every time you play an Ock, you get animals. So it's much easier for Teal to hit that. Now, I mean, Teal needs a lot of wood and wood is incredibly tight as, we've re as I've been repeatedly stating, obviously. But... Uh, now that there's not a four wood action, I 100% grow. Four wood was possibly enough to tempt me not to block Red's grow here, but we just grow Nada. Um, and then we'll eventually figure out actions. What are you doing, Red? You don't need to start player. I guess actually you do because you didn't build rooms. Oh my god, Red. <laughs> don't do this. Take three wood. You need wood eventually this game to win. You're never going to get wood. You don't have the food to run value assets. What are you doing? 
What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, for Clay looks reasonable, just because I think Clay is still weirdly pressured this game. Um, three wood is excellent. Plowing is also something I should consider. Um, but I can't plow. Okay, that's fine. I'll snap three wood if purple doesn't. But yeah, purple understands to take wood. So I'm just going to take four clay then. Uh, and then I might just build BMW, take three read or take RSF. I guess, I guess actually it's probably build BMW, take RSF, continue just keeping our food tempo high. It could be Ock something finally otherwise, but meh. Uh, it could be just take two wood actually. Wait a sec. Maybe I should be, I should be taking two wood this round otherwise, if nobody else does. Uh, the wood pressure is very high. And the clay pressure is still high. I'm going to have to take another clay action just to reno eventually. But I, I was never getting a five clay action, I don't think. So Teal is buying wood. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Teal is just going to buy wood with Forest Trader. Okay, what a weird... Yeah, what a weird position here. Red just day labored in order to feed themselves again. This is absolutely ludicrous <laughs> from Red, but I guess Red has the most points though, to be fair. So maybe it's not, maybe I'm underestimating how good his game still is, but it seems nuts to me. The wood pressure is really high, spends 15 wood on Reeves. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, again, Red has literally taken no wood actions this game. It's absolutely ludicrous. I mean, part of why I was able to get away with this is because, yes, Red's decided to have no... Yeah. Um, yeah, whatever. Th this game is just wacky, and I'm not actually sure I'm doing totally the right thing, but growing fast feels correct. And trying to get majors also feels reasonable. Uh, RSF gets taken. That's fine. Um, okay, how much do I care about taking two wood? Also, there's going to be a three stone action again. And I talked about how I might not want to allow that. I could just take two stone here. That kind of locks up the well for me. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe it's just two stone, two wood. And I can do the other stuff later. My food tempo really is good enough at the moment. Although, is my food good enough long-term? Again, how am I feeding this giant family if I don't get... I guess I just... I work on getting BMW for the last three harvests. I work on getting the well. I'm going to take just take two stone again. I'm going to... This is well plus its sculpture course food. And then I'm going to take two wood. And we're continuing to not awk, but whatever. Uh, stable cleaner builds more stables. Not taking wood. Stable architect? What are we playing here? We just play an ox. Okay, we're just playing ox because animal teacher reasons. And we get some resources. Okay, purple is going to build a room, forcing red to grow. Okay, that makes sense, actually. Uh, okay, so this four wood goes to teal, if I allow it. I could just build the well here and get good food. And then four wood... There's going to be four wood, three wood, three wood. I get one of them. And I just get the well locked up. And I get trickles all the food from the well. It might just be well here. Feels like we policed ourselves. Uh, I don't think that's entirely true. Like, these guys have actions and not a lot to do, and I'm last here. Like, the board is going to dry up remarkably fast next round, right? We should have plenty of winning lines. Correct. I mean, we should have plenty of winning lines. So I agree. I have lots of flexibility. But anyhow, I think I want to keep the board kind of... I, I have so many actions. I think I want the board kind of garbage. Like, next round, there's one, two, three, four, five good actions, basically. 
those are going to disappear really fast. I don't think I was ever going to get two of them. Like, if I leave three stone, that's going to get sucked up fast. I, I guess there's two pigs next round. People care about two pigs, admittedly. But whatever. I'm just going to build the well here. It is still as interesting to how many fields I'm going for this game. Like, I could just try for two fields and then giant fences and still hope that I somehow hit a six-point cow prince, but I don't know if I have time to make, like, a six-point cow prince happen this game. I'm probably just trying for four of every animal, and even that's very unclear I'm going to hit animal reef points because purple, like, the animal pressure is going to... And I'm not getting particularly early fences, although, I mean, I have a five-wood wood carrier just waiting to happen. Um, but my fence is coupled with stable time, and I really want the stables, so. There's some issues here. Not huge issues by any means, but. I do think the board becomes pretty shitty pretty fast. I guess purple has to start player if they want to actually grow. Red red is going to grow and then possibly start player again, which is obnoxious. But, I mean, this is why you don't wait this long to grow, though. Ale benches. Red's going to throw us a gr food? All right, sure. I mean, admittedly, this is a kind of a cool ale benches from Red. Setting up all this grain for bonus points, Red's going to get five bonus points, although he's throwing five food to everybody else. So, all right, the two pigs gets taken. Yeah, that makes sense. I have to take wood. Mandatory to take this wood. Absolutely need to be taking wood. Red is just going to re-up SP. That sucks, though. That part's unfortunate. Uh, oh well. Hey, Gordon. Welcome. Uh, okay, so now it probably goes wood into plow, and I'm last again next round because red waited too long to grow. Boo, red. Why did you wait so long to grow? <laughs> you don't even have wood to put in your wood field. You're never going to get wood. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, okay. Uh, what else happens? Uh, yeah, three wood into plow, and then what am I doing? I take the RSF. I, I I play some ox, I guess. But oh, I get plow because purple wants the sheep. Okay, well that's useful. Okay, so not entirely. We didn't entirely get stuffed on good actions. Uh, we're gonna get three in a row in a second here too. So that's always fun. Um. It could be RSF. Oh, I need to get Stockman in play. That's probably actually what I play next. I need Stockman down for once I start doing Forest Guardian just to get some wood and an action. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I play Stockman. Take RSF. Or do I just take the four read? Oh, wow, I can't awk. Well, that sucks. Cowherd does get played. So yeah, purple's, purple has the cowherd and taking the cow. So yeah, my cow prince is going to be a bit ugly. Uh, okay, well, uh, that's kind of unfortunate, actually. Um, I can at least take a veg. That's something to do long term. I, I, I guess I... Ugh. Spamming RSF with sculpture seems important. RSF, two clay, just run on the BMW. Actually, just getting the Reno out of the way might be the cleanest. Yeah, actually, I don't hate that, because I, I literally don't need clay for anything else this game. I'm trying to feed without it. The only problem with that line is I don't have a stone for sculpture course. Yeah, we can't eat a stone then. How important is that stone, though, is the question. Like, do we actually want to be eating the stone? Gray might be correct that the tempo is just correct to just do that. We also could eat a wood in that line. 
Uh, I don't love eating the wood, but I'm not exactly thrilled that we keep eating all of our stone. I think it's always an RSF. Taking the BMW means nobody cares about the reed pile. So I do like just getting it out of the way. I also do like getting a Renault out of the way. I think I actually do like just getting the Renault out of the way. Can always fish later. Yeah, there's like lots of other stuff happening here. Like, I, I still have crazy action advantage. My opponents can't block everything forever. And BMW is good food too. Like, this is part of how we feed. I think I do have to sculpture a wood here though, probably. I don't really, again, I don't love it. But if I don't sculpture course I think my food is actually a bit awkward oh I'm getting an ale bench this food I forgot actually ale bench this food is pretty hilariously helpful uh I might not sculpture course of wood then yeah I, I think I'm actually passing and that could I could come to regret that later but Uh, okay, priority is definitely three wood if we're allowed it, but I can't imagine we get three wood here. I mean, purple's gonna take two cows, actually. So, does teal take three wood, is, or does teal plow? I'm gonna struggle to get animals this game, though, in a bit. But, again, I mean, I guess, actually, I won't struggle that much. Stockman's gonna be huge, so... Private Forest... Wow. I mean, red's going to so bake to get, generate some food, but wow, teal's taking food? Uh, okay. Uh, purple's taking two clay for Collier? What? Okay, I can't read a damn thing. What? I'm offered plow or three wood? I don't need Max Reeve to win this game. Yeah, I mean, that part's true. Um, What? I think I just take the three wood because it's stables and I want to start getting the stables going and it's, but, and I don't really need that many plows to win this game, right? Oh, I am plowing here. So let's stable the big pastures just in case we do that. I mean, I'd still like to get four plows, I think, but I should leave it open that I can win the game with only two plows. I can't believe this just went, that was a five food action. Teal needs five food. Oh, Teal did need a lot of food. Teal's used so much food to play ox and buy stuff. Okay, plow more important with wood carrier in hand. Gosh, the ox pressure though, team. Why, Red, don't you need to plow or take wood? I don't understand, Red. Anyhow, um, clay firer. What? What is happening, team? <laughs> what? Clay firer? I don't understand. <laughs> Day labor. Oh, boy. Oh, Red's food sucks. But whatever. Okay. Teal is going to start player. Okay, that's fine. Field fences for Teal. Wow, okay. Well, that's obviously a great card. And that's part of why they needed food. Yeah, the fact Teal can't breed everything is kind of sad. Purple's going to plow, almost certainly. I will Ock out Stockman so that I can actually take two wood action. Clayfire is another room? I, I I guess. I don't... Look, who the hell knows what Red's actually up to, right? But... Wow, it's not plow, it's Ock? What? Baker. Oh, wow. We had Baker with Potter ceramics. Oh, we took... God, we're so hungry. Everybody's hungry. You'd play it on expensive Ock? I 100% was playing my Ock on expensive Ock. That was definitely the plan. Um, I might get Ock blocked again for another round? I'm plowing, obviously. I'm not... I mean, I guess Teal's not playing an Ock. It seems unlikely Purple's playing an Ock. I, I think I can plow, but there's no way that I'm passing this up. Like, if these players are all going to take crazy actions because they're super hungry, then whatever.
I will just keep sucking up value. Um, so yeah, the, the dream now is Stockman into two wood. You would have oct over plow. Cool. It's fine. I think that's defensible because admittedly I really need to start playing my ox and I keep letting them get blocked. But if ox gets blocked, I'll live. Uh, Red just baked a crap ton of grain. Yep. Red just baked five grain into 15 food. Fun times. Stockman, wood, stable cow, single cow, breed cows. I'm not getting single cow. The purple's last action is definitely double cow with cow herd. Wait, what? It's not? Uh, okay, well, I agree. I will breed cows. It's stork's nest. Um, okay, well then, yeah, this is an easy stockman into stable into cow. Like, what? I don't understand. Well, I don't understand. I guess we have cow herd, so we just don't care, but... And we needed food. No, we had to play Storks Nest to grow this round rather than a round later. Uh, sure. Uh, okay, well, this is pretty damn sweet, Tim. This is pretty sweet. We're breeding cows. Uh, we're somehow breeding cows. I never thought we got the cow action this round. I thought for sure with this animal reeve that we were going to take our cow herd cow, but uh, no. Nope, they're not, and uh, we, we, uh, we're we're doing well. We need two more wood actions to build our stables. We play wood carrier. We fence. We eventually play a cow prince. Maybe we do eke out the pattern maker in the final round or two. Still at this point, but um, it's 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 coming together. Um. Animal Reeve is probably... Well, we can still maybe eke out Animal Reeve, too, actually. Because... Well, we'll see. Animal Reeve is possible, actually, still. Because Stockman really helps a lot. And single animals will get us somewhere. But uh, we'll see. Anyhow, uh, I gotta pause for a sec here. So thanks, HIKLG. I'll be back to do that. Okay, uh, HIKLJ is telling me I have to do some push-ups. All right. Okay. Grow flips, that's a little sad. Uh, I would have preferred having all the action advantage forever, but time to plow for some people. Uh, for me, it's time to take three wood. The animals are lovely. I would really love to get my stables and fences up and out of the way. Um, yeah. And I do have extra wood. Uh, oh my god, my dog is beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, Loki's a great pal. He's a big black lab. He's a good, he's a good buddy. Uh, there's also three stone on the board. The board's finally jacked, everybody. Board is finally jacked. Absolutely beautiful board. I should actually probably take three stone on the wheel if it comes to me. 
because uh, three stone is like two stone plus four food. And uh, <laughs> the food still matters. Uh, the pigs go anyhow, which is expected. Speaking of jacked, when will the push-up redemption increase to 10? Um, never? If I can take single poor, single sheep next round, I actually hit animal reeve. So um, it's actually really handy for me if these animals get taken and then I can take the single animals next round because nobody else should want them. Uh, but I'm going to take three stone. Maybe three stone is unnecessarily greedy, but I mean, like, red's not fencing. These guys are fenced out. So I do this. I can try to take two wood into stable into wood carrier into fence to finish this round. Actually, yeah, that looks like a really good line. And red is taking more clay because I guess they're going to build and grow. I don't know. I'm going to take wood into wood carrier into fences. Wood, wood carrier fences. The real question is, do I fence big? Fencing big means that I can't get any more plows, but like both teal and purple are trying for plows. So I guess, yeah, why am I trying for more plows? I just fence huge. I just fence big. Wood carrier fence sheep and drop the last stable. Uh, if I'm a, that's true. If I'm allowed, well, but no, I need the stable because animal activist. Although, yeah, no, there's four fence stables here. That's an interesting line, though, Gordon. You're right. That's very reasonable. But um, animal activist, I think, means I want the stable badly enough to just go for it. I probably should play wood carrier because I keep getting ock blocked, but I'm not. Am I getting too wood blocked? I could get too wood blocked, though, also. Screw it. Let's just get this out of the way, also. I didn't see the animal activist. Yeah, no, that's fair. But with animal activist, I I should I should get those points. So I might just get three sheep anyhow. Also, for what it's worth, it's not clear actually that purple's taking the sheep here. Like, and I can just open three sheep next round because I don't I don't have priorities next round after fencing big. I mean, I eventually want to take some. I guess I want to take like a veg, get some crops in the ground eventually, but fencing six spaces seems goo. I have nothing to do the rest of the game. Uh, I mean, the upside is that I can, I can still try to eke out the. I can try to eke out the six-point cow prince. I think I have enough things to do the rest of the game. Like, I need food. I need... Like, I don't actually have enough food right at the moment. I... If I get these three sheep, actually, I can just game trade. I can game trade my way into the pigs I need and into my six cows for a six-point cow prince. In which case, going for the fields is very unnecessary. And honestly, I don't see how I get many fields. These players are going to be first picking fields a lot i think i don't think i need fields to win this game anyhow like fencing plus animal reeve points plus finally taking all this and like i, I have so many I, i'm really not point capped yet i don't think i don't think i'm gonna run out of actions um i really like the idea of three sheep into game trade by the way too like that would be very sweet to pull off um next round But yeah, I'm just going to fence, obviously. And then, yeah, hopefully three sheep into game trade. Uh, what else do I want to do? Uh, build a joinery, play pattern maker. I mean, these guys still haven't renovated. Yeah, the reno queue is actually crazy. Nobody's renovating. It's ludicrous also, but fields are like two actions for two points. Exactly. It's it's just, I I have, I actually think I have better things to be doing. Um I like if I I just fence big I probably yeah I don't know I, I guess there's a lot of ways for me to win right we talked about this there's a lot of ways I should be able to win this game but uh, I think this is the path I'm gonna try I don't think I'm getting to renovate based on what it's looking like so I probably I'm just gonna like build a joinery uh or something but. Also, we still have cow prints. Like, <laughs> cow prints on top of this game is going to just be crazy. This is, yeah.
stone ovens there. Uh, I'm eating a I'm eating a stone at the end of this round. So while stone oven is there, I'm eating a stone with sculpture course here. So I only have two stone to use is the problem. Um, but yeah, good call otherwise. Red is ale benching, more food to all of us. Yes, please. I I do still need food to get through the end of this game. I, I don't actually have enough food. It's possible I can lettuce patch actually some food. Maybe I wind up lettuce patching some food actually to save us right at the end too. But uh, yeah, these three sheep are the priority this round. Three sheep is the best action. Making sure nobody steals my giant reed pile is... Maybe it's not that important, but it feels mildly. Uh, it, honestly, it doesn't matter, actually, right? I'm at 40 points. <laughs> These guys are, yeah, It's it just doesn't matter. That's the real answer. We're, we're cruising. Which is all right. I've been waiting for my chance to have a cruising game because I've had, like, I don't know five, six, seven games in a row of bleh, Agricola, so. Which, a handful of it's my own fault. The, this one is, uh, this one's feeling good. I mean, this game is still just ludicrous. Red has taken literally two wood all game. L oh, wait, actually, have they taken any wood? Or has this wood come from Private Forest? No, no, because they ale benched. They, I think they've taken, like, literally two wood, but... Uh, you'll have to rewatch the start of this one. I got to, f I did get to five very fast. I built the first room and then grew in round five. I built first room in four, grew in five. And then I got to grow in eight and nine because red did this hard line stage. Basically red's given way too much value. Uh, sorry, I should take my action. But basically the synopsis is red spent all of stage one plowing and seasonal working in order to set up straw thatched roof. And they fell, and then they hard lined clay rooms and uh, so they took no wood at all in this. They didn't like. They basically didn't interact with anything anybody cared about in the early game. So I got multiple early four wood actions. I just took good actions. I grew first, and then I just wound up with resources. Like I just wound up being able to build and grow in eight and nine. So what does cow prince do? Uh, cow prince gives you one point for every space on your farm that has a cow. So, yeah, yeah. the answer is Cal Prince is six points. That's, yeah, that's the cheeky thing. Uh, I think I just start player here, right? I just, I start player the game trade out. I really want the game trade in play here because it, uh, it breeds all, it breeds my boar, which is important for me getting the uh, animal reeve max points. Um, yeah, I, I want this game trade too badly and nothing else really matters to me. I mean, I guess veg veg mattered, actually. Getting blocked on veg is annoying, but whatever. Um, again, there's enough ways for me to get points. Two clay action. Woo, what a champ. But I guess we have a clay fire, so it gets us reno. Actually, we're still not we're still not to reno. We still need one more stone to reno. Wow. Remember that clay pressure talk? Also, wait, nobody renovated yet. God, I can still get the pattern maker down. Uh, maybe I just play pattern maker. Oh my god, team, we're being allowed to get Pattern Maker in play? Uh, sure. I don't need a joinery if I just Pattern Make, and then I don't actually know what I do with my stone. Uh, is Pattern Maker the play, then? I still need to get Cow Prince down, too. Um, yeah, joinery is just better. You're, you're correct. That's what I settled on after thinking it through, also. You guys are right. I just got excited because nobody renovated. So then I was like, oh, wow, I still could actually use this card. But no, I think I actually just get the joinery out of the way. Lock this bad boy down. This is part of how we feed, too. I just eat some more wood because I'm a champ. Uh, I take this. I take this. Something like that. I mean, red's not taking three wood because... or No, red is going to take three wood, right? Red's... Not that crazy. I'm going to take the reed pile next action, I think. And then maybe I just sow my crops, I guess. Sowing crops is a two-point move. 
seven point cow prince. I mean, it could be a seven point cow prince, right? We could, yeah, go for a seventh cow still. Um, but meh, that part's not very important. Does it count if I have one in my house? Yes, it does. That's that's why we're saying it could be seven points. It's literally every space that has a cow. Um, so cow prince with uh, animal, the guy that lets you hold animals in your house is actually quite a strong combo because every room of your house can be a cow point. Yeah, animal tamer. There we go. Yeah, that's that was the one. Uh, churchyard. That's cute. Teal's have a like Teal's having a pretty reasonable game here. Like, you know, they're they're doing well. Purple's really not doing well. Potter the 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 clay pressure is rough for purple because that's how they feed with all this Potter cervix. So bake just got blocked. So I guess I'm opening next round with plow so just to get my crops in the ground and block plow so because I'm a jerk. Uh, I am going to take the reed pile. Uh, I think we learned our lesson from the other game. I think my final action here is just get the damn, just get the damn cow prince played. Night school to style on them with cow prince. Um, yeah, as hilarious as that is, uh, I've learned my lesson about holding off on my ock. I, I've I've learned my lesson from the other game. I waited too long on an awk in a game, and I got punished and lost, or I got second in that game. I mean, I'm not losing this game for not getting Cow Prince played, but whatever. Let's let's just put the hammer down. Uh, all right, so we're at clear sixty this game, right? I still have four more points coming on Animal Reeve. I have two more. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have two more points of Cow Prince coming. I have four more points of Animal Reeve coming. So that's six points. I'm literally just breeding another three points. So I'm already at 60 if I don't... Well, I'm not fed. But I'm at 60 if I literally do nothing. Um, I'm like 65. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I basically am going to take some joinery wood. I'm going to try to get the veg action. I'm going to try to sow... Try to get Lettuce Patch played. We do have to actually generate enough food still, uh, which I keep saying, so maybe we have to figure that. Yes, for, forgetting to feed would be sad. We're we're not fully fed, so that is something we still have to actually work out. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're definitely not fully fed. Uh, but we still got another well food, so we're at we're we're nearly fed. We're all, we're basically fed. I would need a roof baluster. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm not far from fed exactly. Yes, you guys are correct. I'm pretty close actually, so that's fun. This trowel and brushwood combo. Each time you renovate, you can replace the required reed with a total yeah, so interesting. Yeah, Siv's correct. So Brushwood says each time you renovate, you can replace the required one or two reed with one wood. So if the required reed was two reed, I it, it would work. But the required reed is four reed. So yeah. I guess that means purple is going to wind up taking Collie plus two stone while wow, the animals have piled up again. Uh, okay. What do I need to do? I need to just block plow. So gain my sewing points. Then I want some wood. I want a veg. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It came up on the forums. Mm, interesting. But yeah, that makes sense. Red's just taking the cows because food makes sense. <laughs> Awkward from Gordon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So no seven, no seven point cow prints, everybody. I, I know you're all heartbroken, but I'm taking four wood next, I think. Well, no, the veg is what should come next, right? Veg is a two point action. Yeah, I got to take the veg. As much as I want to take the wood, because I mean, red's going to take the wood. But oh, wow, purple's going to take the wood. Oh, because purple still has dreams of max stables for animal activist. Well, that makes my choice really easy. Um, I just get this veg action. Just take our two point actions. Take our two point actions. Figure out the rest later. Has anyone gotten the theoretical maximum of cow prints? I doubt it. Oh, hey, our joinery is just a joinery. 
no bonus points for us on joinery, but oh well. Uh, okay, how do we feed? We need exactly three more food after we BMW. So I just bottom feed at the end of the round. So before we bottom feed, lettuce patch is a point. And then we might just be out of points. Yeah, boar got taken. Boar was a point. So is also a point. Oh, we can sew into our lettuce patch now. Yeah, good call. Now that we played lettuce patch, so it opens up a point on sew. So our next move can be sew, and then it's take three food. Cool. Anyhow, yeah, the theoretical maximum cow prints, it's even more than 15. Yeah, as Zach said, he's still unconvinced cow print should work on cards, but it currently is ruled to do so. So, cow, like, if you have the, uh, if you have a thing that lets you hold cows off your board, it also counts. So, like, the maximum cow prints is unclear because it, like, it technically could be, like, I don't even know, but you are very convinced it should not work. I mean, I agree, but. Which is dance ground, yes. Which is dance ground would also change the cow prince math, but anyhow, uh, this is a sweet game. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that I've had a game just go very smoothly. I mean, again, we got very gifted this game, right? Even though these are a bunch of 500 level players, this opening from red is ludicrous. Um, and how much wood I got early was just crazy. But uh, oh, so it got blocked. Team, nobody let me know. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, okay, well, I just take my three food and then we're taking tie break, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, doesn't it say on your farm? Seems like it shouldn't work. That's not the issue. I think the issue is that the rule book rules that your farm... Like, doesn't the revised rule book very clearly explain what your farmyard like eat a space in your farmyard it's pretty ex pretty clear right i i think the space is actually what ma matters here i do think if it just said on your farm i think it would count because all your cards are ruled to be on your farm but it, i'm very unconvinced that other cards are spaces on your farmyard uh, okay, uh, what are we doing for our last action? Tiebreak. RSF is a fun tiebreak. Seems similar to scoring fields on your farm. Yeah, I don't know. The theoretical maximum is 17 with livestock feeder and stockyard. Uh, livestock feeder doesn't count, I don't think. but Because you're not storing the card on live... You're not storing the cow on livestock feeder. Um, I don't think. But there's also the, what's the wildlife pen? Or I, 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 for some reason, card names are struggling in my head today. But it doesn't just purely count cards. It's very awkward. It's very weird, right? I don't think it just counts cards, but. So anyhow, the point is, I don't actually know if there's like a real theoretical maximum to cow prints. I mean, we're partly discussing, like, what's actually on BGA at the moment and what you could, like, I don't know, right? It gets nutty. But, anyhow. Uh, how many points are we actually breeding again? We're breeding one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're, okay, so we're at 65. So that's, that's fun. Gary, again, there's there's a distinction here, though. I fully agree that Farmyard includes all my cards. That's actually not... That's not thing, but our card's spaces. That's... I agree with Gordon. I get one bonus point for each space in my Farmyard. I'm unconvinced that playing cards all of a sudden gives me more space. 
Because the other problem, I, I mean, I'd have to look at the rule book again, right? But you lose points for every unused space. But when I play a card onto my farmyard, I'm not ever going to lose points for it. It's not a space, right? Like, I don't know. I, again, I'd have to look at the rules and the appendix and everything a lot cleaner to be absolutely certain and I haven't bothered doing it. But I I generally trust Gray on most of these rulings to have looked through it. And if Kay feels that Cow Prince is very wrong, I, I would tend to yeah trust that Cow Prince should not be counting stuff off your board, but... Regardless, whatever. What is important and what I'd like to focus on is this beautiful 65-point farm. We got max stables, max pasture, or not max pastures, actually. We, we don't have that good of pack. Like, really, we don't? Where are all of our points coming from? Lots of bonus points, right? We scored a 65, but we're in a clay room, like... Actually, looking at our board, it's pretty damn good, right? We have five people, five clay rooms. We have some grain. We have a couple fields. We have stables. We have pastures. We have animals. But, like, this is not that, that crazy good. We have a good number of off-board points. But, yeah, it's... I mean, we're really being buoyed by a six-point cow prince, a five-point animal reeve, a two-point animal activist. Like... But, anyhow. I should have renoed. I wished, but... 65. Uh, how do you make cows spread out in the same pasture for cow prince purposes? Yeah, they auto max. You don't have to deal with it. Um, high scoring game overall. I mean, it was always going to be a high scoring game. We have, we have, we have, look at all these players that have seven bonus points because of animal activist and animal reeve, right? Um, animal reeve and animal activist. Uh, yeah. Animal reeve and cow prince was hidden. Yeah. Um, sneaking the Animal Reeve in this game was actually incredibly useful. Like, it was not a given that I was going to get this five point Animal Reeve, so that was very handy. It also wasn't clear we were going to get to six cows, but uh, the fact that we were allowed to breed those cows in the round 11 harvest is part of what opened this up. And then the fact that we got those three sheep and then could play game trade, like, our animal count worked so beautifully for us. Uh, but that was partly, yeah, just kind of fortuitous. I'm very happy I kept the Stockman in the draft. The way this game played out, that Stockman was really good, though. Um, I can't remember what else I was debating picking. Something that gave me even more wood, right? I don't even remember. But Elo, yeah, that was also a big Elo win. We we finally actually gained back. It's It's been a little bit of a streak for us. But all right, how much wood did I get off the board? 34. Oh, yeah, this is, I mean, Purple took a lot of wood, too. Purple was doing their part, but just look at these players that decided to just not take wood and let me abuse wood. Have I been enjoying the arena season? I haven't played that much arena, and I've had some really rough games. Um, honestly, arena has reminded me how annoying it is, though, playing with, like, disparate skill levels. This game kind of felt that way, although, like the rating on red is pretty good. And I guess red still put up a 43, but red really distorted this game by doing this. This line from red, hardlining clay rooms, hardlining straw thatched roof is crazy. I should look at the draft quick though. Like why did red first, what did red even first pick? I have no idea how red wound up with this in the draft. There were so many great cards. This Potter Sharmix bread paddle baker is like should have been easy food, but there wasn't great clay injection. Um, but did Red have a combo? No, Red had no combo. There's no combo for a seasonal worker. This is just a raw seasonal worker. And Red has no reason to really straw thatch roof either, to be honest. Their only support for straw thatch roof is seasonal worker. So they spent their entire stage one playing seasonal worker, day laboring three times, plowing three times, and sowing. So at the end of stage one, they had taken no resources. They had played an Ock. They took plow three times, day labor three times. They sowed. They had three grain fields. Like, it was very weird. Late growth, you think Red's line works a little better? Um, it works a little better, for sure, because uh, things pile up a bit more. Um, but, like, Red grows even slower. So, like, still, like, Red's not winning. But... At least seasonal worker is a better way to get grand than what someone did in your game. They went for food, distributor, seed, selling, animal, tamer. Hey, I mean, whatever. 
like look red tried a thing but yeah i don't think it was i don't think it was ever going to be particularly good um i think it's just too many of your stage one actions to force that but other people are less likely i i i agree that it works better in late growth ace spin um what doesn't make sense to me is why red's still committed to clay rooms though right red like even if you're going to spend all of stage one to get straw thatch drift going at least you could just take wood rapidly in stage two and then start player straw thatch drift into build and grow but instead red was like yeah i'm gonna let this guy in front of me get to five family members before i get in the room queue cool but still not enough yeah I mean, whatever. I am going to peek at the draft quick, but yeah, anyhow, this is a sweet game for us, but yeah, I mean, mostly I think the answer of why we won this is, like, our opponents just criminally neglected wood. Our opponents cared way too much about taking clay off the board. I mean, I had to take two clay actions to get my reno parts, but yeah, I I mean, I had to feed without clay, which was a little tricky, too. Uh, admittedly, purple needed the clay because of potter ceramics, but that really did create a very clay-pressured game here. There was no clay injection, and somebody wanted to eat all the clay. Somebody wanted to use all the clay to build with. It was definitely funky. 12 stone from the board for me this game. Crazy. I mean, sculpture course, though, is actually, like, really useful, right? 28 food from cards. A lot of that is sculpture course. Um, I got three food from retail dealer. I got five food from the well. But I think that means that I sculpture coursed five stone. But looking at the stats, it's looked like no one got resources for the board besides me. I mean, that's a little bit of what happened here, right? Again, like the whole part of the early game was like people, yeah, just left a mile. Like obviously no read was needed for this game plan. These guys needed very little read, and they played a Collier, so they injected read into the game. I mean, like, the number of wood added from cards is big, right? This Collier added a bunch of wood. This is, like, Animal Activist plus the thing that bought stuff. The game had a ton of extra read, which is why I have this giant BMW. But yeah, like, not a lot of stone, which I said in the draft. There wasn't a lot of extra stone. Wasn't a lot of clay injection. Um, so I read, I mean, this is part of like the extra skills of like, as you draft reading what the game is about to be. Um, I knew the game was pretty wood rich and partly cause I got that wood carrier. So that's why I took the stock man that paid out pretty big, I think. Um, but yeah, just a weird one. Those stone grabs were very smart. You think it was good foresight that people would try to wait for three. I mean, yeah, they don't, this game was pretty clear that people didn't have, I had huge action advantage and people did not have the time to take two stone, but I did. And if I don't take two stone, I leave three stone and they almost certainly are going to take that. And then they're going to be able to contest majors. They're going to do other stuff. So yeah, I agree with that. I think, I think part of what we did that I did very well, this game was to just spam two stone. Um, no, with nobody taking read stone besides me, because they all had other things to be doing. Um, there just was no stone in the game if I just kept taking two stone. I mean, eventually there became stone, right? We I stopped taking two stone around this stage. But prior to that, just hogging the two stone and hogging reed stone mean that I had, yeah, just total control. I could eat stone and then I still got the two best majors this game. Um, so that was nice too. There was some cool stuff here. I, I feel pretty well about how I played that. I mean, there there might have been ways to play that even better. Uh, obviously, chat, some people that are very strong wanted me to go in different directions at various points. There certainly was a lot to consider in that game. So, uh, But yeah, I'm, I'm just going to peek at the draft quick, and then I'm going to head off. Um, I should actually eat lunch and stuff, and I'll be watching Lumen, I'm sure. But I'm just really curious. We first picked a Straw Thatch Drift with no support. And then we first picked a case builder. I never saw a case builder. Um, I, I I would probably generally take tree gardener out of this pack. Um, there's a hand truck. Oh, wow. Okay. Where did the hand truck wind up this game? I guess hand truck must have wound up with teal. Teal must have kept a hand truck because I never saw that either. Terra Mystica later? Probably not. Uh, I'm probably just gonna... I saw Hand Truck? Oh, okay, I just didn't remember it. How did I see Hand Truck when Potter Ceramics is in the draft? Also, how did I gloss over Hand Truck? Oh, because I have a sculpture course? 
Teal had it in play for most of the time of the game. Wait, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. I didn't see it in the draft. I saw it in the game. That's what you're saying. Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh, okay, we take seasonal worker because, I mean, we have a straw thatched roof. So, sure, I suppose that's fair enough. I can't believe that we hardlined this. This was our game plan in the draft. We just first picked this, and then we're like, yeah, that's that's what I want to do. I want to... I want to just hardline those cards. Very interesting. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, all right. Let's go back. I am curious about how the Potter Ceramics hands came to be because there was a lot of bake help for the Potter Ceramics. Okay. We first pick a Storks. We're first picking Storks and Animal Reeve. First picking Animal Reeve, I approve of. I'm less convinced that I take Storks out of this hand, but. I mean, admittedly, I guess, to be fair, this Storks got really messed by early growth, too. They would have been very happy with a later growth and then trying to play a lot of Ox. They almost take Wood Carrier, and then for some reason they don't. They decide to take Baker with Potter Ceramics, probably, which is, like, reasonable. But with Basket Carrier and Wood Carrier, like, ugh, passing, passing some, like, top-tier cards in order to take Baker just to... Make sure our Potter Ceramics works is a little rough, but Potter Ceramics sometimes is very good when there's not a lot of food support in the draft. Potter Ceramics can be a monster, but this game had so much food. I guess Brushwood with a Stork's game plan makes enough sense, but again, Tree Gardener. Nobody used the poor Tree Gardener in this game, and then it all became super wood tight. Tree Gardener was the card I almost took over stock, man. That's right. We took Bread Paddle. Almost took my game trade. But then decided not to. Interesting. Also, night school with a night school with this stork's plan seems. But I guess animal reeve. You like the cow herd? Whatever. Had to take tree gardener there. I. Oh yes. Wait. They have baker potter ceramics. Wow. Yeah. They had baker potter ceramics, and they didn't take tree gardener. They took collier. I mean, yeah. That's that's pretty bad. <laughs> All right. One last chance. I just want to see what first pick was here. Like, what was this hand? This hand was pretty nuts. Basket Carrier and Wood Carrier. They decided to first pick the Animal Teacher with Field Fences. I don't, like, hate that. I mean, Animal Teacher is very strong, too. So, like... Yeah, I mean, this is just... There's a lot of very good cards here. Even the Forest Trader is reasonably good if you know it's going to be a food-rich game. So... Baker Potter Ceramics all day from first pick in this pack. You're just you're just taking the Baker Potter Ceramics. I guess if you take Baker Potter Ceramics a good amount of the time, you do get Forest Trader back. In which case, that actually does seem pretty sweet. Um, you get you you just lock up your food for the game, and then you have a reason. You have a good food payoff. No, no, I, I think you're right, actually. Exactly what you're saying. I think Baker Potter Ceramics here, and then you expect to get Forest Trader back a lot of the time. You just lock up excellent feeding, and then you... And then you have a food payoff also. And, I mean, then it turns out you get rewarded with a tree gardener also. I mean, you don't know that at this point, but... This guy almost does take Basket Carrier first, and then decides Animal Teacher, which... I don't really agree with it, but... Tree Gardener! Uh, and Hand Truck. Okay, yeah, so we see Hand Truck. I would be a lot more scared about taking Hand Truck when you know that you just passed a Potter Ceramics and somebody else is likely going to fight you for the clay oven. I'd be a lot less excited about Hand Truck, but I also would never take a State Worker there. There was a Tree Gardener! <laughs> tree Gardener. Alright. The fact nobody used Tree Gardener is kind of sad, but... I didn't really need Tree Gardener, but I certainly could have. Again, I got gifted so much wood early because Red just wasn't... Red was juicing the board by not taking wood actions, and then... Teal wasn't taking that much wood off the board either, to be honest. 
took some, but the fact that I got multiple early forward actions still, yeah, I, I don't quite understand, but pretty sweet to, uh, yeah, have a, have a game where we just built five wood rooms because we got handed so much early wood, we decided we could afford it. I mean, wood carrier in our back pocket always helped, but anyhow, this was a sweet game. Glad it worked out. Thanks everybody for hanging out, chatting. It's been good. Uh, yeah, I'm going to head off and eat food and I'm probably not streaming the rest of the day. Um, I expect to just be kind of hanging out and, uh, just chilling. I'll be, I'll, I'll bug Lumen later, but outside of that, but Teal's game could have been nuts. Forest trader, tree gardener, hand truck, Potter, Sharmix, Baker, Brit. Yeah. Oh my God. Actually, you're right. Gray. Yeah, if Teal, you're right. If Teal first picked the Potter Ceramics, I mean, the only mild issue is generating enough clay, actually. Well, no, generating clay doesn't become a problem because of Forest Trader. I was about to say, there wasn't much clay injection, but normally I would use Forest Trader for wood or reed, but the Potter Ceramics guy might actually inject clay, but they'd still be having a nutso game then. Um, yeah. That they would have had so much food with all that, and then yeah, they could have just used for it. Yeah, that would have been really. I'm actually really jealous. That game sounds really fun. Now that you say it, like if if they could have had all that set up, but they also have a threshing board. By the way, we didn't even list the threshing board, but yeah, they 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 would have had bread paddle, threshing board, baker with potter ceramics. So yeah, they would have just been getting and hand trucks. They would have got so many bake actions. It would have been absolutely ludicrous. Um. Yeah, I'm actually like, I almost have half a mind to try to <laughs> try to try to try to trick people into joining a training room game when I could I could actually use the stupid seed feature, and then try to somehow get teals seeding so I can <laughs> do that. Uh, you think it was the same pack as paddle? Oh, okay. The the threshing board might have been in the same pack as paddle. Yeah, that's possible. Um, but regardless, anyhow. Good times. Well, I mean, we wound up, yeah, we had a great game here. Cow Prince, I mean, Cow Prince is also just very good, but then, yeah, Wood Carrier is very good. Growing a lot is very good. To be frank, Red should have first picked Hand Truck, so I don't think you can recreate it. <laughs> That's true. This draft plays out, I think, very differently with different players because, yeah, red first picking straw thatch is ludicrous. This game plays out incredibly different with different players because, yeah, if red just doesn't... If red just doesn't decide they're going to not contest all the normal things for the first two stages, um, I mean, the game plays out differently again. Part of why I have such... Why, part of why I got off to a rocket start is because red decided... I'm not going to take wood. I'm not going to take reed. I'm not like, they just didn't contest any of the actions other people care about. So I got to do crazy things. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I've been blabbing way too much. I'm going to head off. I will actually see people later. Uh, enjoy. Bye. everybody.